This is the Spring Fortune Teller activity from the Spring Home Therapy Packet. So when I use this activity, I'm going to be looking at how well the child cuts along the dotted lines using their hands in the thumbs up orientation, but also looking at bilateral integration using both of their hands at the same time. And in this case for different tasks, such as one hand holding the paper, the other hand cutting but also with the uh, folding. Then I'm also going to be looking at, can they follow multiple step instructions, either on the paper or more likely verbally? And I like to use this activity, as it says on the page there, as a conversation starter for writing prompts, but also just some fun. Kids seem to get a kick out of all the different combinations they can get and stay on that line. So we're going to attempt doing this. Alex, turn the paper upside down before you fold it. There you go. Now I want you to fold each corner to the center. Good use of both hands, one to hold the paper down, the other to fold. This did not start off this easy, we did do a practice run first. So it might be a little more difficult for your scholar. Okay. Now remember what I said about if you don't like how they keep popping up, hold down one corner and then run your finger along the edge. So good again, separation of the hands, getting them to do different tasks at the same time. Okay. Now you have a diamond in front of you. Put it like a diamond. Okay. Now you're going to do the same thing and fold each corner. Oh, we got to flip it over first. Now fold each corner into the center again. And you want to try and get those points into the center as precise as possible. Yep, use your hand to get those corners down. Okay, now from here, I want you to take the bottom and fold it up to the top. What bottom? The bottom here, we're going to fold it up so it reaches the top, remember? Okay. And now you're going to stick your fingers in those bottom flaps like you're trying to do. This gets a little harder if your folds weren't accurate because now things are overlapping as he's about to find out. All right, so we went back and made some fixes because we had to refold some of the lines. One of the good things with just using it for paper uh, can be a little frustrating. I am not good at making these myself and constantly mess them up. Uh, so it's good practice. But so now you pick a number. So say, I want number two. Ask me the question under box two. It says, how does your family get ready for the spring holidays? So these can also be good for reading practice and math, number recognition. Play all sorts of different games with these things. 